early morning start for me to get to the Alps Cycle Cross. Tom stayed here in a camping car with his team. And there's a lot of children here today to take on the course. Some from the Avignon area, and this is Tom's team together, all getting to the starting line. C'est parti, c'est parti, donc avec un gros départ du coureur de Peigny. They line up in championship order and Tom is on the second row and he gets a good start for Tom standards. See the front of the race accelerating hard. And it's come past first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth coming past. Raphael in seventh, Fanny in eighth. And then Max Holtz in ninth and Tom back in P10. And look at our slick camera work today. Two cameras covering the whole course. And with that overtake, Tom follows past and picks up P9 as they get into this tighter section. At the lakeside. Quite a small, short course. But it had a bit of everything. As the leaders go past, one, two, and three, Benjamin and four, Sasha and five, Yannis and six, Raphael seven, Matt Thompson eight, and Tom in nine. And they come back round off this little step and then onto the road to complete a lap. Up that embankment. Uh, Tom's keeping up. With Good Tom. No problem. Good Tom. They're not losing too much ground. And there we've seen pretty much the whole course on lap two. It's P4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Tom going for all the clipped pedals today. Merci. So here's P1, 2, and 3, 4, Eight. 5, 6, 7. Tom's off into P8 one. on this road section somehow. Finding a lot of speed on the road yeah, section. And uh, quite far back, heading into this little climb. But somehow emerging up in P7. Yes, Not Tom. sure how he managed that. And they head down into the woods and off they go again now here Raphael hit the barriers took some barrier with him and then it just spools up into his rear wheel and his bike stops and Tom loses two positions in that and Raphael lost a lot of time he wasn't even well today but he lost so much time there and for Tom he lost two positions which he didn't really care about apparently because he knew he could just overtake them again on the road section which he did but the riders behind weren't going to give this one up and they're into the back markers there's have to get round the back markers. And it's quite the battle. With P5 not far ahead. And there's quite a few laps to just race. I'm not sure how many laps. Maybe seven. Quite a long race. And as the race went on. It came to a battle of these two riders in Tom's race. Keep it going, Tom. Into the slow uphill section again. You see riders in P4 and 5. 
Pong in P6, and strangely, P3, I believe, thought it was the end of the race before it was the end of the race, which drops him down to P4 for Cantin. There's something strange there. But as the race went on, Tom just kept going. A few battles behind him. Nice, Tom. And it turned out to be a fairly long nice. race. You did. You good. You done. Well done, Tom. And uh, I believe this is the last lap now. Get to the line, okay? Just get to the line. Tasha coming in for P5. And Tom cruising in for P6. Bravo, Tom! So there is the podium. And Tom getting a good P6 after last weekend's P24. That was a pretty good result for Tom, so well done, Tom. P6 out of 21, quite a fun course, quite small. And a nice sunny afternoon in mid-November. Summer kit, summer vibes, good times. And Tom went with his team back into the camping car. And off they went because this was a race on Saturday. And tomorrow they are ready for the grill about cyclocross. They are in the camper van ready to go for tomorrow. See you then.